Wholesalers and flippers live and die by their ability to generate and find motivated seller leads. But what exactly is a motivated seller and how do you find them on a consistent basis? Find out on today's video coming up. Go to 8weekacademy.com to claim your free copy of Jerry Norton's most popular training. In it, he reveals his blueprint for making $100,000 per year with real estate. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Norton. I've been a full-time real estate investor now for almost 18 years. Amongst other things, I specialize in flipping houses all across the country, and I've helped thousands of new investors get into the game of flipping and create six-figure and even seven-figure incomes. If you want to learn how to flip houses so you can live your dream life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. In every city and town across America, there are property owners who find themselves in a precarious situation where one of two things happen. The first situation is they own a property in disrepair. It could be from years of personal neglect. It could be caused by a tenant who was renting the property. It could be an inherited property from a family member who died or any number of reasons. The extent of repairs can be minimal to extreme, but if that property owner wanted to sell the property and realize the full potential value or equity, that owner would need to invest time, money, and effort to fix up the property. That way he could sell it to the highest paying buyer in the market, which is a retail homeowner. The second situation a property owner could experience is a financial hardship. This could be from a job loss, a business or investment failure, or any number of reasons where the owner of a property falls on hard times. In either situation, the seller may desperately want to get rid of that unwanted property for one of two pressing reasons. Reason number one is what I call to stop the bleeding. It costs money to own a property. You got taxes, insurance, utilities, maybe a mortgage payment, and so on. To sell it would stop the bleeding of expenses from continuing any further. Now, the second reason a seller may want to desperately sell his property is to realize the as-is equity in the property and get whatever cash they can out of it. But regardless of the reason, what you need to know is that a motivated seller would rather have the peace of mind of getting rid of that unwanted property than the unrealized equity. They will gladly trade equity for peace of mind. That is a motivated seller. In other words, whether it's a lack of desire, a lack of time, or a lack of funds, that property owner doesn't want to do the necessary work to fix up and get the full value from the house. That means they are ready and willing to sell that unwanted property at a discount as quickly as they can just to be rid of it. Now, you've heard the saying, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Well, when it comes to real estate, a motivated seller's junky house is a wholesaler or flipper's treasure. And you need to know that there are dozens of different types of motivated seller leads. In fact, I did a video where I share over 67 different motivated sellers that you can find and go after. And I'll put the link to that video in the description below for you and you can check it out later. But let me share with you a few of the most common. First is absentee owners or out of state owners. Now these are often what I call tired or burned out landlords who are often looking to dump houses for cheap because they're sick of dealing with tenants. Next are free and clear leads. Now this is a huge lead type, but typically it's older people who have paid off their mortgages and are looking to downsize. Next are probate leads. These are people who inherited a house after a relative died. They often sell for pennies on the dollar because they don't wanna maintain that house. Next is one of my favorites, and that is REO leads, which are houses reclaimed by the bank after foreclosure. Banks are often desperate to get these properties off their books. Next is vacant houses, which are houses that have been left empty. These owners wanna stop the bleeding and will often sell at big discounts. And finally, pre-foreclosure, which are houses where the owner is at the beginning of the foreclosure process. These sellers are motivated to get the bank off their back and avoid a foreclosure on their record. And like I said, there are dozens of different scenarios and situations where property owners are desperate and motivated to sell their unwanted properties where you can help them out and get discounted properties at the same time. But the only way to sustain a profitable wholesaling or flipping business is to become a master at generating motivated seller leads. Here's the reality of what's happening right now in your market, and I don't care if it's New York, 
Nashville, Atlanta, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Miami, or anywhere, 20% of the wholesalers in any given market are doing 80% of the transactions. Everyone else fights for scraps. Now, the reason is very simple. The top wholesalers understand the importance of lead generation. They are masters at finding motivated seller leads. And if you want to have a prayer at making it in this business, you too must learn how to generate leads on a daily basis. Now I'll show you how, so keep watching. So where are these motivated seller leads and how can you find them? It's not like they're walking around saying, hey everyone, I'm going through a hardship right now and I want to sell my property at a steep discount because I desperately need the cash. You know, that would be nice. The reality is they are all around you, but they don't know you exist and that you can solve their problem. And that's where marketing comes into play. For many new wholesalers, marketing can seem intimidating and overwhelming because there's so many different options and everybody has an opinion about what the best methods are, especially when there are budget constraints. To simplify marketing, think in terms of outbound and inbound marketing. Outbound is where you reach out to your target audience to see if they're interested in selling their properties. This includes cold calling, texting, ringless voicemail, etc. Inbound is where your advertising draws in motivated sellers and they contact you. A great example is Facebook or Google Ads. A motivated seller sees your ad on Facebook that you buy distressed properties and they fill out a form or call you. In my own business, we implement a variety of different outbound and inbound strategies but generally speaking, outbound has a longer sales cycle because you're reaching out to cold traffic, so in many cases, sellers are early in the process. Whereas inbound has a shorter sales cycle because they're calling you so they're ready to take action. In fact, I did a video where I did a direct comparison in my business using real stats on the difference between cold calling and Facebook ads. If you wanna see who the winner was and which strategy made more money, be sure to check out that video. I'll put the link in the description below and you can check it out later. Now, I don't have time on this video to talk about all of the different strategies for marketing, but I do wanna break down for you one of the most common outbound strategies that can be very effective and that is getting a list of distressed property owners and contacting them through either cold calling, texting, or ringless voicemail. Let me explain the process from the very beginning. There are data providers that aggregate specific lists or categories of distressed owners from public records. Now these lists include pre-foreclosure, absentee owners, out-of-state owners, free and clear leads, REOs, vacant houses, probate leads, and so on. These data providers sell these lists, but the problem is when you buy data, all you get is a name and address, which limits what you can do to contact these sellers. If you want a cold call text or send ringless voicemail, you need a phone number, and to get a phone number, you need a separate service called skip tracing. So it's a two-step process. Step one is to get the list of names and addresses. Step two is to get the phone numbers. And then at that point, you can cold call text or send RVM. So what's the cost for data and skip tracing? Now, unless you're able to buy in huge quantities, the average cost is about 20 cents per lead and 20 cents per skip trace, so 40 cents in total. Now that may not sound very expensive until you consider how many leads it takes to get a deal. Let me take a minute using a diagram to illustrate. This is called a funnel. And when outbounding to cold traffic, it takes a lot of leads at the top to get a deal to come out at the bottom of the funnel. Now, if you think about it, first you contact the seller to pre-qualify them. Then hopefully you talk to some of them either in person or on the phone or Zoom. Then some of them you'll make an official offer some of them you'll agree on price and terms and execute a written contract. And then finally, some of them will make it all the way to a successful closing. Now in my business, I like to track my lead to offer ratio, which is the number of leads it takes to get to an offer. I also like to track my offer to deal ratio, which is how many offers does it take to get to a successful deal. And then finally, I like to track the lead to deal ratio. And let's put some numbers to this so you can get an idea but before I do, this is by no means an accurate depiction. There are a lot of variables such as the market, the type of lead, and the quality of leads, and of course, your effectiveness at each phase of the process, but this will give you an overall idea of what it looks like. First, let's say it takes 250 leads to get to an offer. That would be a 250 to one lead to offer ratio. And let's say it takes 20 offers to get to a closed deal. 
If those were your conversion ratios, then 10,000 leads would get 20 offers and 20 offers would get one successful deal. That's a 10,000 to one lead to deal ratio. Now again, those ratios can vary depending on all different factors and hopefully you continually improve your ratios as you get better at the business. But the point is, it takes a lot of leads to get deals. This is what the players in your market understand. It's a numbers game. The reality is the best wholesalers are marketers more than they are real estate investors. Now I'm sure you've heard the saying, go big or go home. That most definitely applies to lead gen when it comes to outbound marketing with distressed properties and motivated sellers. Once you really start to understand how many leads you need to do multiple deals per month, you start to see the need and the value of a marketing budget and therein lies the problem. New and intermediate wholesalers struggle to grow and do more deals due to a lack of funds to invest in the necessary marketing, and so they often get stuck. Well, that's about to change. I've now made it possible for the little guy or little girl who couldn't compete with the juggernauts of the industry, who doesn't have tens of thousands of dollars to invest in marketing each month, to finally be able to get into the game and start having success. You see, I've decided to get into the game of data and skip tracing and invest hundreds of thousands of dollars on an ongoing continual basis, which then allows me to get millions of leads in all 50 states, and I took it a step further. I've eliminated step two in the process of getting the data and then skip tracing it, and did the same thing with skip tracing as I did with data, and invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to already skip trace all of the data. That way I can provide the leads already with phone numbers. This has been a huge undertaking in tech development and a massive capital investment, but I'm all in for two reasons. First, I remember what it was like when I got started and how hard it was to break into the game with limited resources. When I got started, I was broke living paycheck to paycheck as a construction worker. It was backbreaking work, but the worst part is, I wasn't able to provide for my family the way I wanted to, and when I started wholesaling, I certainly didn't have a marketing budget. But God has blessed me beyond measure. Fast forward almost 18 years, and I live on the ocean in Puerto Rico. I have a beautiful family with 10 amazing kids, and I've been able to become a multimillionaire. And I want to give back and help people get into the real estate game. But I also have another motive. When it comes to wholesaling and flipping, my goal is to be the number one leader in the wholesaling and flipping industry in terms of education, tools and services, and now data, and I'm willing to invest for the long haul. And for a limited time, I'm giving an exclusive offer to get unlimited data with free skip tracing for less than a penny per record. You can't find that anywhere. So to learn all about this limited exclusive offer, I wanna invite you to register for a free training where I break it down and I show you so that you can see it in action. To register for that free training, just go to getunlimitedsellerleads.com. Look, here's the thing. I've been wholesaling and flipping houses for a long time, almost 18 years now, and I've been teaching others how to do it for almost 12 years now. And there is one thing I'm absolutely certain about. There are so many deals out there and such a huge opportunity for you to get into the game, achieve financial freedom, be your own boss, and live life by your rules. But you've gotta take action. Now is your time. So next, I want you to watch a video where I explain the 10 steps to wholesaling houses. This video is the most comprehensive beginner's guide on wholesaling real estate that you've ever seen. So don't watch that video unless you're serious about wholesaling. And if you wanna make more money and less time flipping houses so you can live your dream life, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. With over 750 videos, this is the number one channel on YouTube for all things flipping, and I'll see you on the next video.